Hey, Jason uh, here with a day trading fearless.com. Make sure you check us out at day trading fearless.com for any one on one coaching and mentoring uh, sessions. Uh, we only charge 25 bucks an hour. Uh, we're not here to try and rip anybody off. So uh, we also give uh, trade levels and ideas for the SP e mini futures. So again, make sure you check us out at day trading fearless.com. Okay, got that over with. Let's get into what I'm going to show you today. Fibonacci retracements and extensions, okay? And I'm going to kind of show you two very simple and basic strategies using these two different uh, tools. So the first one that we're going to use is the Fibonacci retracement, okay? If you want, pause the video and write these down for what you uh, whatever software you're using i use the 161.8 the 50 38.2 the 0 and the minus 236 that is my fibonacci extensions or sorry a uh, retracement levels that i use i don't care about any others when i use this tool now the way to, to properly use this tool or that I find works best for me is all I actually like to use a 512 tick chart, a five minute and a 15 minute, um, even hourly for finding different support levels okay, or levels to draw my lines. Again, it all depends on your time frame. If you're a swing trader, of course, you're going to want to use hourly to um even four hour or daily charts. If you're uh, day trading, I love the 512 tick chart because I'm able to see um, all the levels, swing highs and swing lows very, very simply. It's kind of like, here's a significant swing high, right? Here's a significant swing low. Price hooks, curls, and goes back up. Here, swing high swing low now there are many different ways to interpret it it's just you need to train your eyes what i like to look for are significant inflection points of where price is actually reversed and taken off okay so something like this we have a swing high here and then we have a swing low here okay and as you could see price reverses pauses at the 38 goes to the 50 to the 61 and then pulls back okay that's kind of my plan right there so what i look for is i look for first off which way is the market trending higher or lower okay so currently the market's higher right now we have a double top here okay and we're starting to trend lower okay we're starting to make lower lows and lower highs right this high right and then when we rally this high is lower than this high but yet this was our previous low right on the whole way up well guess what we broke it and so now we're making lower highs and lower lows so what i'll do is i'll start to draw from this significant swing high right here all the way down to wherever the current swing low is right but what i'm looking for is in these lines are gonna have to keep getting adjusted until you see price kind of think of it as draw an imaginary trend line right once that trend line breaks gets broken to the upside then you know okay hey i could probably stop drawing now let's look for our short trade i call this the ambush trade okay because what we're doing is we're looking for price to rally back up to this 61, 50 to 61 percent level. That's where I'm looking to enter the short. Okay, so what I'm doing is once we've made a lows, I'm looking for price to kind of rally all the way back up into this level so let's do this so let's uh look for this okay let's go from this swing high right here down to this swing low okay and look at the v-shape right and as you can see we kind of curl maybe this is all we see 
at the time, okay, we might see something very similar to this, right, where we're starting to rally. That's what I look for. But we, we kind of go, hey, we're now in the downtrend. We're stair-stepping lower. That's what you're looking for, okay? So let's see what price does. So price falls. We come down. We start to rally. Get to 38. Kind of pause for a second. But look at that right to the 50. And we pull back. Right up almost to the 61. And then pull back. Okay. So the way I trade this is anywhere in between here is considered my short zone. So, if, so the best way to trade it is to have a pending limits order in there to short the market okay if you wait until price gets there then you might start thinking differently you have to trust this now not every trade is going to work okay but you will see this trade work over and over and over um now one strategy is you can enter at the 50 add right below the 61.8 give it maybe a little room Okay, beyond the 61.8, and that's your stop loss. So if price keeps going above, that's where you just bail on the trade. But a lot of times, if you enter the 50 and it pulls back, you might take zero heat. Look for a couple points. Look for a bigger move. It's up to you. Um, but if it keeps going through the 50, you add at up around the 61.8, okay? Okay. If it gets back to the 50, you're break even on the 50 and you made money on the 61.8. So that's one way of trading this strategy. Anything above, if it breaks above by a point, point and a half, okay, I'm out. You can always re-enter the trade, but remember, always protect your trading capital. So let's look at one more example uh, real quick, but let's look at this on the bigger time frame because right now we could see the markets really starting to roll over, right? So let's maybe go to a 20-day, 15-minute chart, okay? And let's kind of look at significant swing high and low, right? So we actually have highs that have been made, right? And... We also have, let's go from low all the way up to this high, okay? If we get back down to this 2104 to 2086, I know it's a big range, but again, um, anywhere in here, would be we'd be looking for a long trade. We're looking for price to fall, come down, and then break up, right? If it keeps going, okay? Chances are anywhere inside this area, you're going to find support and you're going to look for the long, okay? And you look for the bounce, okay? That's on a bigger time frame. So now let's get into talking about the Fibonacci extensions, okay? These extensions are something a little different these extensions and let me give you the exact levels and as you can see i hide i actually hide a lot of the lines right so i look for the 127 the 161.8 1 and the 200 okay so if you want to pause it real quick write those down um for wh whatever software that you're using okay so what I'll do is this is where I love going into like my 512 tick chart again. And I like to look for significant swing highs and lows again. But in this case, okay, this morning when I came in, we were, this is what we had. I had a swing high here and a swing low. So what I did was... I look for the latest swing highs and the latest swing lows, right, that we had. So this is kind of all that I saw right here when, when I came in this morning. So what I'll do is I'll go from high to low, okay, and then back up to the high. Then what I'll do is I'll go from low to high, 
and then all the way back down, okay? What this does is it gives me two levels. It gives me above the market and also below the market. These are very significant swing highs because they're the last ones that have been made. Okay, so let's kind of see what price did when the market opened. Okay, price went sideways, we rally, right? Kind of make a double top, and boom, look at that. Literally to the tick, we came down to the 127 and bounced, okay? If, if you were waiting, it happened so quick, more than likely, you didn't have a chance to get the best price. That's why you just have a pending order in there. So then price kind of bounces around, but again, you still could have gotten about four or five points off that bounce, okay? Price comes down. Look at that. We bounce right off the... 1618 okay all the way back up to the 50 but again we're in a downtrend price comes almost to the 200 bounces again okay and so on so on look at that boom and look at the rally that we're having now okay so now you can break this down even into smaller moves if you think about it, right so here we had a high to a low in a bounce, okay? That's what we're looking for, is kind of think of it as prices making a bear flag, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go from the high to that low, back to the high, and look at what price does. Once it actually breaks below where we drew our low point, right? Price comes, bounces, comes, bounce, right? Bounce, bounce. And then here it just kind of got flushed out. Okay, but you already you had a couple of trades. So then, as price is falling, we could kind of keep essentially keep doing this same exact thing over and over and over. If you think about it, right? Look at that. Price comes right. It blows through the one twenty seven, but find support the one six one back. Maybe you got long here. You added here. Here you cover the entire position, right? And look at that, just like magic, price goes to the 200% retracement. What is that? Okay, the 200 is, let's say we take a line from high to low here, okay? Think of it as a head and shoulders, whatever. We duplicate that and then flip that over. That takes us right to our 200, okay? So now, see this hook? See how we're hooking up? Okay, this is what I look for. Okay, hey, price is kind of done going down for the short term, we could say. So let's now draw, okay, our Fibonacci retracement. And this is where we're going to look to get short the market. Anywhere between this level, the 50 and the 61. Now, you can also trade the 38.2, but it's not going to work as well. Sometimes price will stop and reverse and go lower, okay? But this is my trade setup, the 50 to 61.8, okay? that I'm not saying it's the way you have to, but if you watch it, more than likely when we see big swings, that's where price will probably pause and hopefully it'll get up there really quickly, okay? And if you look, we're just making on the bigger picture, right? Lower highs and lower lows this entire way down, okay? And now price is coming back up, but look at what price did just now, right? It came up, broke, tested, and now it's reversing exactly at that 38.2. So you're seeing in real time how well the trade works. Now, here's the thing, and this is why I was saying you have to have the order pending. That happens so quick that when it gets there, you might talk yourself out. Well, guess what? It fills you, and then you kind of sit there, and guess what? Now you're up a couple points on the trade. Maybe you're out. You take your two points, and you're done. So this is kind of 
been a quick uh, little video on how to trade uh, Fibonacci extensions and retracement. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you contact me, Jason at daytradingfearless.com. Thank you.